Hey, everybody, how's it going? Happy Tuesday, a couple days before Christmas here, and I totally got um, distracted this morning. I'm trying to wrap up the last bits of Christmas everything, and I was just um, online ordering something, and I had to call, and I ended up on the phone for like 15 minutes and trying to get stocking stuffers done. <laughs> I'm just crazy. Um, although it hasn't been that nuts, but um, I'm so sorry. I just all of a sudden looked down and was like, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to be doing a live right now. <laughs> um, but I did get the thing that I need to fill up a stocking, so that's good. One thing they didn't have, uh, so it's going to come late, but whatever. Um, Anyway, so that's me. Um, I like haven't even had my cup of coffee yet, which I'm. It was brewing. Well, then I decided to go do that thing, whatever. But um, so I'm gonna be drinking my coffee while we talk this morning. <laughs> um, my big news is that this girl right here. Look at this girl. Yeah, that girl, Mo. She is so close to having puppies. Oh my goodness. Those puppies were moving like crazy. Don't get my coffee, leave it alone. No, you can't have that. Um, they were moving like crazy last night. We were all sitting around watching. Okay, we're watching this crazy show called, um, it's on Prime and it's called um, Eco Challenge or something, Fiji. And it's just like all these teams that go and do this crazy adventure race. And we just put it on a couple nights ago and we're totally hooked. It's so good. So they're just like climbing things and paddling and all this stuff. So we were watching that last night and um, I was rubbing Mo's stomach, stomach and she has just got puppies moving around in there and it's coming. So... Um, Yes, it is. Oh, it's coming. She's like wanting to drink my coffee. <laughs> no, you can't have it. <laughs> anyway, so um, that's our big news around here is a couple days after Christmas, we'll be taking her up to our breeder who will then she will have puppies. And um, oh, Tammy said, I just had a litter of Bernie Doodle puppies. Oh my gosh, you did. That's so amazing, Tammy. <laughs> so we will have a litter here pretty soon. We're not sure how many puppies, Jane. I'm not sure. Um, yes, so um, last time the puppies were all doing really great. So they got to come to our house when they were like four or five days old. And then they stayed until they were about three weeks old. So in a couple, like not next week, but maybe the next week, we might be seeing some puppies on the video. So I'm very excited. Um, so that's our big news. And then just, you know, getting ready for Christmas around here, making cookies. And um, we made tons of melting moments the other day because we are dropping them off to some people today. I've got a couple friends we're dropping them off to and I'm gonna give you an update on my scarf making because I've got my other one done and I'm gonna show you the three that I did they're all done and ready for my three friends and they don't even know but... okay so you guys saw this one last time this is the off-white one with the little brown flex in it and then the green one which you saw part of it but you didn't see it with the little fringe on the end so there's the green one this one's a little bit of a shorter one and then just the other night I made this one, which is kind of just reminds me of Thanksgiving a little bit, but I'm a brown girl. So it's brown with kind of these orange, uh, what are they called? Tassels. So those are my very <laughs> creative presents that I'm doing this year for my girlfriends. And, um, yeah, you know, the crazy thing is, I don't know if I told you, but I had all this yarn and I just thought, what am I going to do with this? I'm either going to like donate it to the Goodwill or I'm going to do something with it. So, um, there we go. And like, there's a little bit of yarn left, but like not much. And I just feel like I love taking something that you have and like using it. So I don't know what you have around your house. Like you can just like use, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, instead of just whatever you guys know what I'm talking about but anyway so there's my fun little projects and um we're gonna be dropping those off today so that's fun I love like bringing people things and setting it on their porch which is probably this year what we'll probably do because we're not really supposed to be out and about around here but probably just um leave them on their 
doorstep and knock the door and run, which is kind of fun. So, um, yeah, let's see what else is going on. Um, a couple days before Christmas. I don't know if you guys are doing anything. We're like just hanging out at home, trying to figure out like how to do Christmas all by ourselves, which is weird. We haven't done that very many times. So, um, yeah, but other than that, we're just hanging out. Um, and I do have a chapter for you guys today. And you know, I tell you guys this every week. I can't believe how that always lines up. And it's a little bit different because the chapter this today is for, it's about birthday wishes, but we could totally translate this into like Christmas wishes. So, um, we're reading out of a Prairie devotional. We're getting there. We're on chapter 16. And it's from season five, episode two, as long as we're together. And this is the episode when they're in Winoka and um, it's Mary's birthday. And I really love this episode. Um, this is the one where Pa gets beat up from the, you know, the guys that are kind of taunting um, Mary and um, what's her husband's name? Mary and my brain is fried. Oh, come on, guys. Help me out. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> Mary and Adam. Um, they're kind of taunting them. The same guys that have been taunting Carolyn in the restaurant, you know, so Pa gets, gets uh, beat up, but it's okay. And <clears throat> they're trying to keep it from Mary. Anyway, um, yes. And so it's her birthday. It's her 16th birthday, which is cr 16th. I think it's her 16th birthday. Am I right? Or is it her 18th birthday? Gosh, I can't even remember. Thank you everyone. Yes. Adam, Adam, Adam. I got it. Um, it doesn't really matter what birthday it is. I'm, my brain's fried. Um, she's sitting around and she cannot think of anything that she could wish for except for the people around the table. I'll leave it at that and we'll talk a little bit after, but, oh, 16, you're right. I was right. See, I just can't second guess myself. Um, I didn't bring my tripod out today because I was in such a rush and I totally should have because now <laughs> I'm all over the place. <laughs> all right. I got the phone in one hand and I've got the book in the other. There's no drinking right now. Okay. All right. It's called birthday wishes and the quote is from Mary. I don't have anything to wish for. I have everything in the world right here in this room. As we grow older, our birthday lists tend to grow shorter. Just like a Christmas list, right? The things, possessions, we once wanted so badly are no longer as important as they used to be. We value experiences and quality time with people more than beautifully wrapped packages. On her 16th birthday, Mary Ingalls could have wished for any number of things, but she didn't. The table surrounded by loved ones left her eyes full of tears and she was speechless and soul content. I remember that same feeling during my 18th birthday party. Instead of traditional gifts, the guests were secretly instructed to bring 18 things of their choosing for my twin sister and me. Overwhelmed by the huge pile of presents, we envisioned making a pretty good haul. We did, but not in the way we thought. I'll never forget opening 18 Q-tips and 18 quarters for the laundry machines at college. We opened gifts of 18 hair ties and pencils and stamped envelopes so we could write home. Of all the crazy things we opened, my favorite came from a friend from our junior high days. She'd found 18 notes we had written to her on ruled binder paper. They were folded in crazy shapes that only junior high girls could make. Do you remember folding your notes in those junior high girls? <laughs> do you remember? I do. <laughs> they like tucked under and you pulled the little thing and it came apart. So fun. Pouring over the notes, I laughed and cried. Some my sister and I read out loud and others we tucked away for later. They brought unforgettable experiences back to life for a few hours that day. As I looked around at all the faces of the party, people who cared about my sister and me and had built relationships with us, I knew I had received the single best gift, love. The simplest gifts are usually the most valuable to us. Like Mary, we cherish people and places and time spent together. Tears of joy on monumental birthdays mean more to us than any gift ever could. 
And the verse is from Psalms 126, 2 and 3, and it says, Then our mouths were filled with laughter, and our tongue with joyful shouting. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. And this just makes me think about um, Christmas and how it really is about the love. You know, I just got off the phone trying to order this thing. And one of the things they had in stock, and I actually can pick it up, which is great. And the other thing they don't have, they have to have it shipped. And so it'll take a couple of weeks probably, or, you know, a week or whatever. So not before Christmas. And I got back down and my daughter said, well, mom, it's okay. It's not about the presents. And I was like, you're totally right, my sweet darling girl. <laughs> you know that it's not about the presents. It's about being together. It's about giving to each other. It's about the laughter and the joy and reading the Christmas story together. Um, yeah, just looking around and seeing the people in your life. And yes, you're giving things to them and the presents kind of matter in the moment just because you want to show them how much you love them. So anyway, but it does also make me think that this year is going to be a really different year. And the people we normally have that we're sitting around may not be with us. Um, you know, I don't know where how it is where you live, but here in California, like they're saying that we aren't really supposed to be spending the holidays with anybody but our immediate family that we live with. So that really cuts out everybody else. <laughs> um so this is going to be a strange year for a lot of people, not just for us, but everyone I talk to is like, I don't know how to do Christmas without my parents or not going to my grandparents' house or without my sisters and without the cousins and all that. So it's different. Um, we're going to look around and probably see the people that are missing that's hard. So what I'm trying to focus on is Mary. Okay, Mary, let's think about Mary. Mary couldn't even see. She couldn't even see. Maybe we don't have to see them to know that we're loved and that we love. Maybe. Maybe it's okay that we all are eating dinner our opening presents around the tree and we have our FaceTiming or we have Zoom up and we're like, look, I'm opening the present that you gave me. Maybe that's okay. Maybe it's okay. Um, I guess I think my heart goes out to the people that like are just alone, totally alone. And that's hard. So I just, you know, I'm so grateful for technology in this time. Like, Use technology this Christmas to bring joy into your life because it is a gift. For 2020, it's a gift, and I don't always think it is. Sometimes I'm like, I just wish there were no cell phones and no computers or Chromebooks or video games or anything because then, oh, then I just got, Mo just splattered my coffee. How did she do that? Um, her tail went, in, whatever. Then we actually would just be together more. But you know what? This year, we need technology more than anything. So must be grateful for what we have, the people that are around us, in whatever context they are around us. If it's on the phone, if it's watching via Zoom or FaceTime or whatever, enjoy the people around you and realize, remember, remember that the greatest gift is love. The simple gift of love is the greatest, 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 greatest gift. And how amazing that Christmas is all about celebrating the greatest gift that ever came to mankind. Jesus being born in the, as a baby. That is so mind-blowing. <laughs> that God would come down as a baby. So weird. <laughs> God is mysterious, I tell you. Um, so that's us, Mo. What do you think, Mel? Hmm? Yeah, say hi to everybody. 
There's Mo. Um, I hope that next week we have some news about the puppies. And I will tell you news. We probably would not have puppies on Tuesday, but maybe the next Tuesday. So that's it for me. Um, I am going to be running around today. I don't know what you're doing. I hope you have just a blessed, blessed day and um, that you are doing well. And um, remember that Christmas is about love. So keep it about love, not about the presents, not about what, who's there, who's not there. Um, yeah. I'm so thankful for you guys. Thank you so much. It's so fun hanging out with you. I love all your little questions and for filling in all my brain farts or whatever you call them where you can't remember things. What are those called? I don't know. Anyway. Um, oh, somebody just said that COVID hit their family this week. Who is that? Sorry, let me go back. Oh, Tina, so sorry. Yeah, we've had it going through ours too. Um, yeah. <sighs> so sorry. Yeah, hang in there, okay? Lots of fluids and lots of rest, I tell you. Lots and lots of rest, okay? So you guys... Everyone take care, stay safe, and um, we'll see you next week. It'll be the last live of the year. I don't know. We got to do something special. I'm not really sure what it is, but um, yeah. So, all right. Love you guys and have a merry, 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 merry Christmas. All right.